to go even further beyond. Yeah, my name is Akashian. In this video, we are seeing another, another Sparking Limit Break banner that is going to be releasing literally two weeks before we get the reveals and stuff for the upcoming festival, which should hold a lot of things and specifically a new unit, one or more extremely hype units. This banner here, it's of high value, but at the same time, what's coming in the festival could be literally meta-breaking, and I genuinely feel like that could be the case due to how they're hyping up the leader slot, equipments, boost units for PvP, <laughs> last ultra summonable unit, like there's a lot going on. Legends is actually stacking on literally every single time good after good update right now and it's crazy for them to drop this something so valuable right before the festival which people want to save for this banner here starts on the uh 12th of uh november which is actually a friday and it ends on the 16th which is uh four days after that if you're going to summon on the banner just straight up saying it you should wait until the last day but even if you are going to summon on it straight away because you know what you want to do, I don't advise you losing using the multi-Z power 600, uh, the Legend Limited one, simply because whatever comes to festival, I feel like it could generally be meta changing. And I know if you run a certain team, you might want a certain thing. But at the same time, I'm trying to give you guys this warning, whatever is coming is sure to be some heat. I can understand if it's the case where it's a character that you won't use, but even if you wait until the 16th, you would have seven days in your gift box, assuming you already have one. If you don't, then you can just let it sit and then you'd be good. But I'll just go through the simple pros and cons of this. I believe it's about uh, 3,000 Chrono Crystals to go through the whole thing. Let me just add it up so I can, I'm not wrong. Five, one, one, five, two, two, five. And then yeah, 3,000 Chrono Crystals for the whole thing. You get some Z power, two, four, six, eight, eight hundred Z power there, and then one thousand Z power total. And then if you get to the last step as well, it's the six hundred legend limited Z power that you get. I'm saying you should hold that whether you summon on the first day or the last day. Best you summon on the last day, but regardless, hold it just until you can see who is there for a uh, Black Friday festival. On top of that, um, if you have one already. You should be using it on a character that um, you can probably get to seven stars for a Zenkai. Most likely Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Namek Goku, FSK. Uh, if you don't have them seven stars, you might want to do Goten if you're a hybrids main. Um, looking into it further, uh, there's no other ledge limit on this character on this banner specifically, but you might want to get them. And on top of that, you can actually just pull characters on this banner. That's just something I really just consider right now. You shouldn't go into it summoning hoping for characters because the rates are piss poor man they're actually terrible they're actually terrible like i haven't pulled i think i've only pulled like five smart sparkings in like the five times it's returned but um i'm li i'm simply making this video as a strong strong warning for all of you guys even got the face cam on just chilling bro i'm just making this video as a strong warning that you guys even if you are going to summon this banner that's 3k down the drain your chances of getting what you want during the uh, festival are already lower just simply because you're 3k down you might want to hold this in the scenario whatever comes is really that heat that you need let's say hypothetically it's master's ultra instant goku i feel like even people that do not use god key saiyans rival uni uh, universe survival saga sorry would still want to summon on him for collector's purposes and that's just saying of how hype he is like dude, come on bro it's mui it's mui man but um yeah let me know in the comment section below what you guys are gonna do this is just a freestyle video I'm not even like shy myself out or anything. I'm I'm, just telling, I'm giving you guys a straight warning because I know that this here is gonna be some strong bait for people. It could literally put them in the mud. So you've got to be very very careful whether you're going in or not. Summon on the last day if you've already got one in hand. 
and then you'd have to use it because I don't think it's going to last up until after anniversary, which is quite unfortunate. I mean, not anniversary, up, uh, up until after festival or when festival starts, which is quite unfortunate, but it is what it is. You can only do one rotation on the banner as well. So um, don't expect to go in multiple times because if that was the case, this would be probably the most, it will be such a valuable banner. It will be disgusting. I'll be saving all year just for multiple of these. But um, yeah, if I actually go to characters just for the sake, uh, I'll go to Sparkin. Can't change it to uh, whatever legend limit only on this website, on this space website. But um, you might want to seven star some characters that have been in the game for a long time. Um, maybe one increase the stars of someone that is already really good. Like uh, I don't know if you can see this guy here, but skip Q right here. And now I'm playing. I'm playing. I was actually focusing on this Gohan because obviously he's the best non Zenkai sparking in the game. But yeah, man, I don't want to long out this video. It doesn't require me to do so either. But this is something very important. Um, unless you bang GT, please don't use this guy. <laughs> Someone who uses GT is really angry at me right now. But um, yeah, man. Super Saiyan 4 Goji is really good right now. But um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think is going to come for um, Festival. I've got two bets two solid bets and i'm gonna keep it for a separate video let me know who you're gonna use it on if you have any queries i'll try respond but you should probably message me on discord or twitter those will be the fastest way to contact me if you have any questions on how you should use it if you're going to summon on it if you're not going to summon on it i assume you're just going to be saving so there's nothing else for me to be nothing else to be said but yeah i'm gonna leave it at that guys appreciate you guys for watching the video um hopefully this video did hold you hold out hold you out if you're scared on how to save your CC, just don't visit the summoning page. There's no reason to, honestly. Uh, just wait until festival and you'll be good. My name is Akashi, guys. Press the subscribe button. Happy birthday to me. This is the day after my birthday, but hey. This is, hey, hey. I'll see you guys.